Hello from uh, OGS Mechanics. We have here today the Mercedes E63 AMG, which is equipped with eight advanced driver assist systems. ADAS is the umbrella uh, that covers all the system meant to improve protection overall while driving, and in the same time improve the driving experience. It's critical to know, and very important, that all the systems, in order to operate correctly, they have to be calibrated whenever any minor, even minor work is to be carried out on the vehicle. And this means um, any suspension work, body work, even a, a minor wheel alignment, windscreen replacement, all those things, they might involve um, calibration to the ADAS um, units in order for them to operate correctly. Now, as I was saying, this car is equipped with eight um, advanced driver assist systems, and we're going to take this car now on the road to show you each one of them, how to recognize them, and how do how do they operate, and what benefits you have from them. So we're going to head out now. We're going to take the car on the road and, and see all those um, systems. Let's go. We are ready to take this beauty on the road and see all the advanced driver assist them in operation. Let's go. So we are now in the Mercedes and uh, we want to show you where you're going to find all the um, advanced driver assist system in the menu. So um, there is a um, section just for um, assist and in here there are all um, systems. So assist graphic, traffic sign assist, distronic plus and steering assist, pre-safe brake, attention assist, blind spot assist, lane keep assist and the eight features is the 360 degrees camera which can be activated uh, via the iDrive or uh, whenever the reverse is engaged. We're gonna head out and see one by one all the systems um, how do they operate. Let's go. We're gonna head out onto um, a motorway uh, because we will um, have the lines um, required for um, a lane assist to operate correctly and hopefully we'll get a bit of traffic to test um, the Distronic adaptive cruise control. So to start with assist graphic um, gives an indication uh, of the traffic ahead. So you can see the camera spots um, another vehicle ahead. It gives an indication of distance. Um, also in this section it shows the um, speed restriction that the camera is detecting on the road that we're driving. So this is informative um, indication of what's around us really. If we move um, to the next one, as you can see now it detects um, there's an obstacle, there's another vehicle in front of us, um, quite precise on the measurements. Moving forward to the traffic um, sign assist, um, this function over here, this is meant to recognize um, the road speed limit, also no entry, and um, overtaking prohibit and um, will give an indication to the driver in the um, central display or the, the instrument cluster. A very good feature um, considering you might drive on new roads that you never drove, um, you might uh, miss some signs uh, but the car will, uh, will spot those and will let you know. Going forward, um, we have the Distronic uh, with the steering assist, 
uh, we're gonna go now on the, on the motorway to experience this uh, feature. Please safe break. Uh, we won't be able to experience that um, um, because this is a function that um, will only kick in uh, when a critical situation uh, occurs, um, meaning when the, um, the car drives um, at a high speed, um, a higher speed comparing to the car um, ahead. And um, after the calculation of the radar, it seems that an impact uh, it is possible. And what it'll do, it'll break the car and um, in the same time, it will uh, pull out the seat belts like, uh, to the driver to uh, protect him. So that's the pre-safe. Um, like I said, we won't be able to experience that uh, today. Attention assist um, is the, um, the system that um, uh, recognize whenever the driver um, is tired. And there is a combination of sensors um, that working to um, get this information based on driver changing lanes um, or um, driving for a long period of time without touching any controls on the car. Um, there's an algorithm um, that calculates and, and makes a decision uh, that the driver might be tired. There'll be a recommendation into the dashboard uh, requesting, advising the driver to take a break. Moving forward, the blind spot assist. We're gonna experience that shortly. Um, we're gonna see that whenever um, we're gonna have a car coming from behind and it's gonna be in our blind spot. We're gonna have see an indication in the mirror. So let's see, we're gonna drive uh, ahead. We're gonna leave a car behind us, maybe. Uh, we'll be able to experience um, that. So if we drive ahead, that's the, uh, the orange triangle that came on into the mirror. Um, it came on right when um, the car on the left um, hand of us uh, came um, came about uh, the rear bumper level. That's the sensor uh, which detects the blind spot. Lane keep assist is the feature that um, warns the driver when he changed lanes. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to the distronic and steering assist. So we're gonna set up um, the automatic cruise control. So we will get now to activate the distronic and steering assistant. So distronic is uh, now activated. The car is um, is working now on a on a cruise control. It's an active cruise control. Basically, the car will uh, maintain the speed that we selected as long as there is no obstacle in front of the car. So as you can see, we have this um, truck in front of us. The car holds uh, holds back, and there is a selection to see how far behind or ahead you want to stay from brake and in front. That's a very good feature um, because you, you can set up the distance according to the traffic and the uh, speed that the traffic is going for. Okay, so we're going to change the lane now. And the car accelerated by itself, seeing that there's no obstacle in front to the speed limit that we have selected. When the green steering wheel is in green, that's an indication the car has seen the markings on the lane. It can um, drive by itself in, within the lines. So we're gonna do a test. We're gonna take the hands off the steering wheel and we're gonna see how the car drives by itself in the line. And it also should take the corner, as you can see, because you see the markings. And uh, this is done by the camera and the car steered by itself. Obviously, he won't do that for a long time and he will advise the driver to get hands on the steering wheel. Um, some other cars, they uh, they can drive longer and probably this will be the future when the car they're gonna drive by themselves. 
but it's still handy, so we're gonna do a test again. The green line indication, as I was saying earlier, says that um, the car has seen the markings and is capable to drive by, uh, by itself. Again, there's an indication. The slightest move on the hand on the steering wheel and the green light activates again. The car can, um, can drive by, uh, by itself again. So it maintains the speed and also the steering following the lights. It won't do that for long. Let's say again, warning lights indicate uh, where's the driver to, to put the hand on the steering wheel. Now, for instance, uh, we want to change lane and we don't uh, indicate. We're going to do that just now, not very good. There's a vibration on the steering wheel uh, to elect the driver that is changing lane uh, without indication. Uh, it might happen that driving driver is not, uh, is not paying enough attention and uh, is changing lane without uh, willing to do so. The advanced driver assist system they were made having in mind um, the protection of the driver and passengers but also pedestrian and road users so um, those systems uh, they improve uh, the protection and in the same time they improve the driving experience uh, uh, because it uh, makes everything more comfortable I hope you liked this video and um, if you did please share it leave a comment below subscribe to our channel where we will post uh, often more materials about the ADAS and the cars in general if you have any inquiries visit our website www.ogsmechanics.com and um, we'll be more than happy to assist you thanks for watching OGS